Consumers and providers of electricity disagree over the proposed increase in tariff. Uh, that's our focus tonight as you take a closer look at all the issues concerned. Good evening and welcome to this edition of Weekend File. In December 2019, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, announced its decision to and light will pay a review variables, uh, inflation rates, gas prices and available generation capacity. The distribution companies are in support of the increase saying that uh, the proposed tariff would cater for revenue shortfalls in the sector. The consumers on the other hand believe that uh, increasing the tariff while quality of service remains low would mean that NEC is inadvertently rewarding distribution companies uh, for their inefficiencies. Many Nigerians think that uh, even with the expected tariff increase, the provision of uh, substantial and sustainable electricity or its infrastructure may not be guaranteed due to the unbundling of electricity assets to technically and financially incompetent investors. The House of Representatives, although not against cost-reflective tariff, ordered the suspension of the plan until gray areas are clarified. All the issues are on our desk tonight for a critical analysis. My guest is Dr. Sam Madi, former chairman Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. My name is Kurian Umayo. Let's do it again and thank you for your company. We begin as always with the news. There are no symptoms of coronavirus in the four Chinese citizens earlier suspected to be carrying the disease in Wase. Commissioner of Health Dr. Ming Kong Ndam La just said the Platitude Commissioner for Information Dan Manjam said the Chinese citizens who uh, were in there for mining activities had self-isolated themselves and having gone through all clinical investigation, no symptom is reported. In the meantime, they will be kept under observation for 14 days. This is the latest from Plateau State Commissioner for Health. They are currently in a meeting with the medical team. Commissioner for Health Professor Ake Abayomi has confirmed that the Italian male who tested positive to coronavirus and quarantined for treatment at the Milnet Hospital, Yaba, Lagos, remains at the facility with strong hope that he will survive the virus. This is coming on the heels of some rumors peddled on the social media that he attempted to escape on the allegation of poor state of the facility. Here you John Adams reports. With the recording of its first case of the novel coronavirus, the Nigerian government, as well as other authorities concerned, are not relenting in ensuring that the virus is contained. As part of strategies of achieving this, the Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, says some of the people who had contact with the patient have been identified while the search for others continues. So step by step, with every hour, that number is increasing. We haven't been sitting down uh, relaxing. We don't want to experience what happened in 2014 again. So we are ready and we will continue to build that capacity year by year. On the news going round that the patient attempted to escape from the facility, the commissioner urged Nigerians to disregard search, describing it as mere rumor. He has never expressed any desire to leave the facility to the doctors that look after him. And I've spoken to him myself. And he's comfortable, he's, he was comfortable yesterday and he's comfortable today. The war against coronavirus continues globally. It is expected that individuals will embrace preventive measures to curtail the virus. In Lagos, Hengino John Adams, NTA News. More on coronavirus. Efforts to contain the virus in Nigeria are being intensified with the state of preparedness for diagnosis. The Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Medical Research has said this in an exclusive interview with NTA News. Nigeria has officially four laboratories 
that are capable of making diagnosis of the coronavirus. The Nigerian Institute of Medical Research is also capable of doing the same. We are going to work with uh, the LUT lab to ensure that when the viruses are isolated, we help to sequence the virus uh, to determine whether this is the same strain uh, coming from China, uh, whether there is a different strain. We uh, need to do more is to ensure that uh, our ability to track suspected patients um, it moves faster than what we do have currently. Meanwhile, every state government has been advised to be on red alert to have their own team and isolation centers for control and response to the virus. Well, at this point, uh, we have the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Ehanure, in our Lagos studios, who's uh, going to take some of the questions that we have uh, in connection with the coronavirus. So, Honorable Minister, good evening and welcome to Weekend File. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, what is new, uh, considering the fact that uh, we have recorded the first case of coronavirus in Nigeria? What new uh, can we learn uh, from the current situation? Well, first, it looks like we have had a good test run of our arrangement of the protocol we have been developing. This particular case has run very well between identifying the patient and getting diagnosis was all less than 48 hours. The doctor who saw him first had a very good and strong index of suspicion, carried out the right thing and sent the patient in a well-protected ambulance to the uh, IDH hospital. And the doctors here handled the case, walked through the night, got their diagnosis, even in the night. They didn't wait till the next day and within 48 hours, everything was set. The patient is in treatment, is comfortable and he is uh, recovering, I would say. All right. Uh, what about the critical issue of uh, contact tracking and uh, the rumors making the rounds on the alleged escape of the driver who picked the Italian uh, from the airport from where he was uh, quarantined? Sensational stories going around. Uh, most of all these stories are not uh, true. Some of them are probably hyped up. But uh, it is best to uh, follow the uh, information coming from official sources. The, uh, there's, no, there's no truth in his uh, alleged uh, escape uh, attempt, uh, not, not, not as far as I've been told here. I'm in Lagos presently to see the situation for myself, and uh, there was nothing like that. All right. Uh, having gone to visit the patient at the hospital in Yaba, where he is uh, currently in isolation, can you give us a true picture of the state of the hospital environment, you know, in terms of uh, uh, being uh, well positioned to cater for such isolation? All the people he worked with and who he has uh, had any, any dealing with have all been traced and many of them are already under self-isolation. They have been identified and they have been, uh, they have been very cooperative. All right, sir. We also hear that uh, four Chinese persons uh, in, in Joss uh, have been quarantined, uh, what well, we're expecting to be for 14 days, and it's likely that uh, many other states could have uh, uh, Chinese or people who traveled uh, from China uh, in those states. What are the efforts being made to ensure that uh, all the state governments are keen What will happen is that if anyone has come from uh, China within the last 14 days, or if you want to be uh, to extend it, you might say within the last three weeks, uh, they should uh, give information as to their where they came from and their travel history. And the routine thing is to let everyone be on uh, self-isolation in their home. They are giving the full instruction about it. So these are uh, routine processes. Uh, there is uh, no uh, malice about it. 
Yes, sir. Uh, are we making our own internal efforts as a nation to come up with uh, some kind of, uh, you know, a treatment uh, methodology or a therapy, if you like, uh, to be able to see how we can, you know, from within uh, have a, a, a very, uh, you know, uh, a drug that can directly attack uh, this virus? Yeah, in the first place, you know that this is a new virus. They call it a novel virus, and uh, frantic attempts are going on uh, all over the world by scientists to understand the virus. Uh, the genome has been uh, revealed. Uh, the genetic sequencing was done long ago. So the question now is to find a vaccine that will take care of it. But one of the requests I had made of the uh, Chinese ambassador when he came to visit is to send us a treatment protocol that they have used because they have cured uh, several people, uh, I would say some thousands of people they have cured. And they have shared their treatment protocol with us. It is with our Nigeria Center for Disease Control. As you know, Nigeria is on mission to China to take a deeper look, a deep dive into the nature of this coronavirus and uh, the learnings from there have been very useful. Science is going to use the learnings to develop uh, the uh, further understanding of the virus. All right. Uh, thank you, the Honorable Minister of Health, uh, Dr. Osage Ehaniri. Uh, thank you for your time. We'll be following uh, the, the story, you know, uh, in, in due course. Thank you again for being part of our show tonight. Mohamed Mahmoud Abubakar says Nigeria has achieved its target for the phase out of the use of uh, Halcons, uh, roughly robacons, uh, and of course uh, bromine and carbon uh, uh, tetrachloride, uh, which are ozone depleting substances in a sector of the economy using the implementation of the Montreal Protocols program. The minister made this known as uh, the Kigali Cooling Efficiency Program project in Kevi, Nasarawa. It is instructive to note that my ministry has been implementing the Montreal Protocols program to phase out the use of ozone depleting substances in all sectors of our economy and over the years have achieved the phase out target for helums, CFCs, methyl bromide, carbon tetrachloride, among others. We are also meeting our target and phasing out hydrochlorofluorocarbons in the implementation of our HCFCs phase out management plan, HPMP project. We are going to employ the same vigor for the implementation of the Kigali amendment to phase down hydrochlorofluorocarbons to uh, a potent greenhouse gas presently used as alternative cooling agent to ozone depleting substances. President Muhammadu Buhari has ordered to the release of the 295 smuggled petroleum tankers by some security officials. A statement by the Femi Additional Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity says President Buhari's directive is based on the recommendations of a board of inquiry set up by the National Security Advisor on the ongoing border drill. The President therefore accepted the recommendations of the board of inquiry and directed the immediate withdrawal and replacement of all those found culp found guilty should face immediate appropriate disciplinary actions. However, the border drill has been successful and has led to the interception and seizure of large quantities of foods, materials, and uh, petroleum resources illegally trafficked across our borders. The president commends the security agencies for a job well done. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Babara Bubakal, says training of more personnel of the Nigerian Air Force will enable the force to achieve effects outside the perimeter. Uh, this was during the inauguration of the Special Forces Call 6 2020 and commissioning of Special Forces Obstacle Calls in Bauchi. Muazu Hassan reports. You all have to earn your place and strive to become part of the elite team of the Nigerian Air Force. I therefore urge you to imbibe the attributes of special operatives, which include 
honesty, courage, perseverance, and adaptability during the training. These were words of the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Baba Abubakar, to the student of the Special Forces Course 6 2020 at the Regiment Training Center Annex Bauchi. 275 regiment personnel were nominated for medical and physical screening for the course, but only 117 personnel comprising of seven officers and 110 airmen air women were inaugurated. Chief of Air Staff, who was represented by the Air Officer Commanding Ground Training Command, Air Vice Marshal Idi Amin, also commissioned Modern Obstacle Course Facility a repairing tour. The course, along with the 40 feet rappel tower, would enable us to produce fit trainees capable of conducting air assault operations. During the 13 weeks, the personnel will undergo tedious induction training as Nigerian Air Force Special Operations.